Hello, Tom McGuire. I just want to do a quick review on the book, The Storyteller, Tales of Life and Music by Dave Grohl, the memoir. Absolutely fantastic. If you don't want to listen any further, I highly recommend that you go out and buy it, read it, listen to it. I listen to the audiobook. It's narrated by him. He's got a fantastic voice. I always say it's really good when the author narrates their own book on an audio version, and it's particularly good when it's someone as famous and well-known as, as Dave Grohl, who's you know, he's a really rich voice. He's recently He was recently reading stories on CBeebies as well which I'm obviously into at the minute. I've got two kids under four, so loving all that. I've listened to and read some fantastic books just recently, just to give you a little bit of context of what I'm kind of comparing this to. So uh, Kindred by Rebecca Rag Sykes um, on kind of the history of Neanderthals. That's a fantastic book. I've read and reviewed that one recently. Breathe, which was Ricks and Gracie, the Jiu -Jitsu, Brazilian jiu-jitsu expert, co-written by Peter Maguire. That's fantastic as well. That's one of the better books I've read in, in recent times. The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green. Really, really good. I'll be reviewing that very soon as well. And I'm currently at the minute on Billy Connolly's latest as well, uh, Windswept and Interesting, which is absolutely brilliant. Apparently it's a little bit repetitive of some of his stuff in the past, but it still kind of kind of stands alone. Um, and it's really, really good. It's, it's fantastic. And he narrates that as well. So he's another one of a fantastic voice narrating his own stuff. So really, really good. So yeah, this, this book is, I, I really enjoyed it. I wasn't too sure what to think at first. I'm, I'm definitely a Dave Grohl fan. I love the Foo Fighters. I'm ashamed to admit I didn't realise he was, he was in Nirvana. That's quite embarrassing, really. Um, it just completely passed me by. I, I've, I've never been a big Nirvana fan. My older sister loved them. I was born in 81, so I was only like 10 when I, when she was like listening to their albums and I used to think she was quite cool and, but she was quite moody and stuff at the time, wouldn't really speak to me. So, you know, it probably put me off them to be fair. I've since obviously come to appreciate their music. I love, you know, I love rock music. I, st you know, Nirvana, they're, they're so high energy, aren't they? They're fantastic. I can see why people like them, but they're just not my particular thing. I also didn't realise that he almost joined Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers as well. They are a bit more my type of thing. I absolutely love some of their songs. Um, one or two of their songs some of my favourites of all time I think they're fantastic but it's really interesting that he decided not to join them and to carry on and just keep pushing for her, for his dream for his ambition I really like that and I would say about this book as well if you're someone who thinks that success just comes to people through luck or divine intervention or you know people just get lucky you know you hear quite bitter people sort of saying that quite often or negative people this is another one of those books that just gives you very clearly assuming he's telling the truth which I assume he is that he was just a very passionate driven kid you know his whole life he wanted to do what he wanted to do he wanted to, he was passionate about music he loved music so much that he just followed it 100% of the way and same with Ricks and Gracie with his jiu-jitsu and Billy Connolly of his stand-up many other people I could mention as well if you get someone who is that kind of focused and driven and determined Quite often, it's not even necessarily nat natural talent. They do have natural talent, of course they do. No doubt about that. But the natural talent is nothing about that that passion and that desire. And I find that really inspiring. I think that's really good. It doesn't mean that we can all become rock stars. It doesn't mean we can all become stand-up comedians or Brazilian jiu-jitsu experts. But it does mean that once we've found our passion, once we've found our kind of purpose and our reason, if we're determined enough, we can go after it and we can just push, push, push and achieve so much more than we ever thought we were capable of before. And it's just a really entertaining listen, this one. It's really, really good. Some of the stories, some of the people that he's come across, you know, fantastic. Um, so Huey Lewis, Little Richard, Pantera, ACDC, Paul McCartney, David Bowie. So many fantastic people. David Bowie is my favourite artist of all time. He's just come across some absolutely brilliant ones. At the end, there's kind of a bonus chapter where he talks about George Harrison as well. He's my favourite Beatle. It's just brilliant. It's It's fun. It's kind of energetic. But it's sad as well at times, and it's quite philosophical as well which I really like I, I like his kind of philosophy on life and the, and the way he kind of prioritizes his family and his kids and how how when his kids came along they're the most important thing in the world to him and and how important it was to him to be a good father you know and how he just gives you know he he kind of relates all of his success to his mum being there all his time all the time and his, his dad wasn't you know wasn't really around in the same way but he's managing to make up for it himself as a dad and I really like that and how they've kind of driven him to be to be a better parent to be a better dad I find that really good um yeah it's a fantastic book I highly recommend it get out there buy it listen to it it's fantastic so um please keep liking and subscribing and I'll be back again soon cheers bye